The Grand Canyon is an awe-inspiring natural wonder of the world, featuring vast expanses of rugged layered rock formations and majestic cliffs that tower above the Colorado River. It's been a popular tourist destination for years, but the canyon's secrets are still waiting to be uncovered. Recent discoveries have revealed fascinating insights into the canyon's history, including ancient Egyptian artifacts, the oldest recorded fossil tracks, an ancient habitation site, and the missing rocks that span over a billion years of Earth's history. These discoveries have captivated archaeologists, geologists, and adventurers alike, providing a glimpse into the complex evolution of the Grand Canyon and the people and creatures that have inhabited it over millennia. Join us today as we explore the mysteries of the Grand Canyon and discover its hidden treasures. How the Grand Canyon Came to Be The Grand Canyon is known for its enormous size, with a length of 277 miles, a width of up to 18 miles, and a depth of over a mile, making it one of the largest canyons in the world and attracting millions of visitors each year. According to scientists, the canyon was formed between 5 to 30 million years ago by a combination of geological processes. The most widely accepted theory is that the canyon was formed by the Colorado River, which began to cut a channel through the rock and soil about 5 to 6 million years ago. The river continued to erode the rock and soil over the course of millions of years, carving out the canyon's iconic contours. However, some scientists suggest that tectonic activity may have also played a role in the canyon's formation, with an earthquake splitting apart the rock with enormous force being one possibility. Additionally, tectonic extension in the region resulted in dramatic changes in topography that may have contributed to the canyon's formation. Regardless of the exact processes that formed the Grand Canyon, there is no doubt that it is a magnificent natural wonder. Its sheer size and rugged beauty serves as a testament to the incredible power of natural processes that have shaped our planet over millions of years. Ancient Egyptian Artifacts the idea that ancient Egyptian artifacts were discovered in the Grand Canyon is a popular legend that has been circulating for over a century. According to the legend, a cave containing artifacts from an ancient Egyptian civilization was discovered in the Grand Canyon in 1909. There are several accounts of this discovery, and each one provides slightly different details. However, there is no solid evidence to support the claim that such artifacts were discovered in the Grand Canyon. One of the earliest accounts of the discovery was published in the Phoenix Gazette in March and April of 1909. The articles described the discovery of a great underground citadel hidden in a cave in the Grand Canyon, which was said to contain a vast treasure trove of Egyptian artifacts. The articles mentioned the name of explorer G.E. Kincaid and his explorations down the Colorado River, but do not provide much detail about the artifacts themselves. Another account, published on the front page of the Arizona Gazette on April 5, 1909, provides more detail about the discovery. According to this article, a series of bizarre caves and artifacts were discovered in the Marble Canyon region of the Grand Canyon. The article claims that an expedition under the direction of Professor S.A. Jordan and archaeologist G.E. Kincaid discovered evidence of an Egypto-Tibetan culture in the Grand Canyon. The article also states that the Smithsonian Institute was a sponsor of the expedition and that the artifacts would be shipped to the Smithsonian for further study. However, there is no evidence to support the claim that such artifacts were discovered in the Grand Canyon, and the Smithsonian Institute has denied ever sponsoring an expedition to the region. Some experts have suggested that the story was a hoax, while others believe it may have been based on actual discoveries that were then embellished or distorted over time. The Oldest Recorded Fossil Tracks in 2020, the discovery of 313 million-year-old fossil footprints in the Grand Canyon National Park was confirmed, which are the oldest recorded tracks of their kind found within the park. The footprints were discovered by Norwegian geology professor Alan Krill in 2016 while hiking with the students. The footprints are believed to have been left by a tetrapod, which was a four-limbed vertebrate that lived during the late Carboniferous period. The tetrapod is thought to have been a large lizard-like creature that crawled up a coastal sand dune in what is now the Grand Canyon. The discovery of the footprints was made after a cliff collapse revealed the footprints in a rock layer that dates back to the late Paleozoic era. Researchers have described the footprints as well-preserved, and they provide insight into the behavior and locomotion of tetrapods during this period. The discovery of the footprints is significant because it sheds light on the ancient ecosystem of the Grand Canyon as well as the evolution and behavior of tetrapods during the late Carboniferous period. Ancient Habitation Site In 2007, 
archaeologists excavated an ancient habitation site along the Colorado River in the Grand Canyon. The habitation site was located on a terrace about 150 feet above the river in an area called the Bass Trail. The site was found to have been inhabited by a group of people who lived there for several centuries, from around 900 to 1150 AD. The artifacts found at the site included pottery fragments, arrowheads, and stone tools, with the pottery fragments being identified as belonging to the Pueblo III period, which lasted from 1150 to 1350 AD. This indicates that the site was inhabited by a group of people who were part of the Puebloan culture. One of the most interesting finds at the site was a fire hearth that was used for cooking in warmth. The hearth was made of sandstone slabs and had been used for many years. Archaeologists were able to collect charcoal samples from the hearth, which were later analyzed and vital in determining the age of the site. The habitation site provided valuable insight into the lives of the people who once called the Grand Canyon their home. It's believed that the people who lived at the site were farmers who cultivated crops such as corn, beans, and squash. They were also skilled hunters and used stone tools to make weapons such as arrowheads and knives. The habitation site provides a fascinating glimpse into the lives of the people who once inhabited the Grand Canyon, and the artifacts found at the site continue to be studied by archaeologists and researchers today. Thunder River Falls In 2013, a team of researchers discovered a hidden waterfall in the Grand Canyon that had never been seen before. The waterfall was named Thunder River Falls and is now a popular destination for hikers. Thunder River Falls is located in a remote area of the Grand Canyon, near the Arizona-Utah border, and is part of the Peria Canyon Vermilion Cliffs Wilderness. The waterfall flows out of a cave in the canyon wall, and the water that feeds it comes from the nearby Thunder River, which is one of the largest perennial springs in the world. To reach the waterfall, hikers must take a challenging 22-mile round-trip trek through rugged terrain, steep inclines, and narrow winding canyons. The hike requires at least two days, and hikers must carry all their own food, water, and supplies with them, as there are no facilities along the way. Once at the waterfall, Hikers can enjoy breathtaking views of the 160-foot waterfall cascading into a crystal-clear pool below. Visitors can swim in the pool, explore the cave behind the falls, or simply bask in the beauty of this hidden gem in the heart of the Grand Canyon. New Species of Fish In 2013, a new species of fish was discovered in the Grand Canyon by a team of scientists from the University of Arizona. The fish was named the Grand Canyon Speckled Dace, and it was found in the Colorado River system within the Grand Canyon National Park. The Grand Canyon speckled dace is a small, colorful fish that grows to a maximum length of about four inches. It has a distinctive pattern of black spots on a silver body and is found in riffles and pools in the river. The fish has a relatively short lifespan of about three years and feeds primarily on insects. The discovery of the Grand Canyon speckled dace is monumentous because it's the first new fish species to be discovered in the Grand Canyon in over 20 years. The finding also underscores the importance of maintaining the ecological integrity of the Grand Canyon and its river system. The scientific name of the new species, Renichthyus osculus, reflects the fact that it's a subspecies of the speckled dace, a group of small freshwater fish found throughout western North America. The discovery of the Grand Canyon speckled dace is a result of ongoing efforts to catalog the biodiversity of the Grand Canyon and surrounding areas. The discovery of the Grand Canyon speckled dace highlights the importance of continued scientific research and conservation efforts in protecting the unique and diverse ecosystem of the Grand Canyon. Ancient Rock Formations The Grand Canyon is a massive geological wonder that has been formed over millions of years of geological activity, erosion, and weathering. One of the unique features of the Grand Canyon is a variety of rocks and the geologic history that is on display. The canyon is one of the few places on Earth where one can see rocks from every geologic era, spanning over two billion years of the Earth's history. The rocks that make up the Grand Canyon are grouped into three main sets based on their age and composition. The oldest rocks, which are over two billion years old, are found in the bottommost layer of the canyon and are made up of metamorphic basement rocks. These rocks were formed by the intense heat and pressure that comes from being buried deep beneath the Earth's surface. The second set of rocks, known as the Precambrian Grand Canyon Supergroup, are between 1.8 billion and 800 million years old. This layer is comprised of mostly sedimentary rocks, such as sandstone, shale, and limestone. 
The Precambrian rocks found in the Grand Canyon have helped geologists understand how the Earth's continents were formed and how plate tectonics have shaped the planet. The third set of rocks, which is the most visible and prominent, is the Paleozoic strata. These rocks are between 540 million and 250 million years old and are responsible for creating the distinctive layers and colorful bands that the Grand Canyon is famous for. The Paleozoic strata are made up of sedimentary rocks such as sandstone, shale and limestone, and they provide a record of the Earth's climate and ecosystem during this time. Together, these three sets of rocks provide a unique glimpse into the geologic history of the Earth, and the Grand Canyon is one of the best places to see this history on display. The layers of rock and the colors and patterns they create have drawn visitors from around the world for decades, and the canyon continues to be a popular destination for geologists and tourists alike. In addition to the rocks themselves, the Grand Canyon is also home to a variety of geological formations, such as the Vishnu Basement Rocks, the Grand Canyon Supergroup, and the Kaibab Limestone. These formations have helped scientists better understand the processes that have shaped the canyon over time. The Grand Canyon is a testament to the power of geological forces and the immense time scale over which they operate. The rocks and formations found in the canyon provide a unique opportunity to study and understand the Earth's geologic history and how it's evolved over billions of years. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to check out the other videos available on our channel.